Hey, we're out here at Sweetens Cove in Tennessee with the golf designer Rob Collins of Sweeten Cove Golf Club. It's so nice to have you out here. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Did you have any idea when you designed this that it would have this much national publicity? I mean, this is the hottest course in golf right now, and people are, are just raving about Sweetens in the shed. We uh, put our heart and soul into it, and we tried to build as close to nine perfect holes as, as what we thought was possible. The amount of publicity and, and the amount of hype that it's received has exceeded my expectations. Now, how many golf courses have you designed? Well, this was our first one, and my wife and I joked that it was a half of a golf course. So, <laughs> um, And then we've uh, done a couple of practice areas, and then we just finished a nine-hole project up in New York, and we're currently working on an 18-hole project uh, called Landman Golf Club out in uh, eastern Nebraska on a really uh, extraordinary piece of land that's a, a brand new 18. Now, with modern-day equipment evolving and players are hitting the ball further, they are working out, how do you take that into consideration when you're designing a golf course with your routing plans and your strategies for a course with limited space like this? You know, the way you can still introduce strategy into a golf course, even with the extreme length that people are hitting it now, is the combination of short grass and contour. I think that's a, a timeless uh, way to, to challenge people. And Pinehurst number two, for example, which w played a big inspiration here, is, is the perfect U.S. Open venue in, in my in my book, I mean, you've got a, a rough that one day you might get a great lie, the next day you might have a terrible lie, but you're probably not gonna be able to spin the ball quite as much And those dome greens with the, the, the tightly mown turf on the sides, you know, it will punish you and it, and it holds up. And um, I think that, you know, thinking along those lines and looking back to the lessons of the old course and, and the, the teachings of Alistair McKenzie and so forth, I think that you can still take a lot of what they taught us and, and adapt those to the, the, the current game. Who is your favorite course designer? Uh, of the ODGs, the old dead guys that have to go with McKenzie. And uh, uh, I'm actually a huge admirer also of Mike Strantz, who died way too early. Wish I could have met him. He's a huge inspiration for me. Um, modern guys, uh, I'd have to say Bill Core and Ben with Crenshaw. Crenshaw? Bill, ben, yeah. Bill Core and Ben Crenshaw. What is your favorite hole on the entire course? Well, I always say that's a little bit like Sophie's Choice. You know, I, <laughs> I love all these holes. Uh, but if someone really challenged me, I'd have to say number five. I'm a sucker for, for great short par fours, and five has a lot of the elements of, of you know, some of the, the best short par fours around the world. It, you know, it can, you can make an eagle there, or you can make a 10 there. I've actually done both, so I know that from personal experience. And it's just a really strategic, really thrilling, good-looking golf ball. So today was my first day to play, which was amazing. I loved it. Number five is the par four where the bunker's on the right, and then you've got the other bunker on the left. Yeah, it's got the it's got that really deep bunker right in the middle mm -hmm. with, the, with the boards on it. And, you know, you can drive the green, but if you get in the wrong spot, I mean, it can, it can add up quick. Now, who named the bunkers out here? Was that you or Matt? <laughs> We've had a lot of our uh, a lot of our members have named them, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun thing. We've had a lot of visitors, and, you know, Sweetens is a place where people come out, and a lot of times they leave a little bit of themselves here, and sometimes that may, may mean a, a nickname bunker. So what's your favorite golf course in the world? The old course, St. Andrews. That's mine, too. I caddied for my dad at the Senior British Open, and I, I couldn't get over it. Yeah. I mean, it's just endless, endless opportunities, different playing conditions every day, and it just it never plays the same from one run round to the next. And Now, how much did you like the principal bunkers over there? Oh, man, I love them. They're the best. Yeah, I've, I'm a sucker for, you know, small but just absolutely menacing hazards. I mean, you know, you get in the wrong spot, and you can wish you didn't. So, Rob, what's the best advice you've ever received? It was from uh, Scott Farrell, the president of Gary Player Design, and he said, if you want something, ask for it and go get it. You know, don't don't be shy. Just say what you want and go after it. No way. No way. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So, so just much. let me know when we're going to have our golf match. Right, we, we got to do it. What are we going to play for? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Yeah. Okay, are we playing straight up or are we playing match play? Uh, let's do a hundred match, a hundred straight up. So we'll play for two hundred. Okay, you're on. I, I'm. Are you being serious? I'm 100% serious. Okay, you're on. You heard it. <laughs>